How's it going, Reject Nation? We're here to watch this trailer called Reminiscence. What is it? Don't know what it is. I have no <laughs> idea what it is, but I'm sure it's an interesting one. Warner Brothers, HBO Max, Hug Jackman, Rebecca Ferguson, Greatest Showman Reunion is what I'm expecting <laughs> what here. I've been waiting for. Let's get into action and see what's going on today with this trailer. I hope it's good. I hope it leaves a good memory in our noggin that we could reminisce over. Okay, all right, everything's finally set. Right, let's do this. You're going on a journey. A journey through memory. All you have to do is follow my voice. Oh, do you now? Uh. When the waters began, uh. us, the war broke out. What? Nostalgia became a way of life. Oh. I wasn't allowed oh. to. Oh. So people began looking back. Ah. Uh. X-Men Origins Wolverine. Wouldn't it be a Hugh Jackman trailer without him yelling? Yeah. <laughs> yelling intensely for his lost loved one. Whoa! Damn, Rebecca Ferguson. God. Don't go down this path. Stay here. Oh, dang. This movie looks gnarly. You're going on a journey. All you have to do is follow my voice. <laughs> cool. Not bad. Cool. Now we finally know what all those mystery destruction shots were in that HBO promo from all those months back. Oh yeah, that's like, right. Those are Godzilla. And I was like, they gotta be. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, man, because you don't know movies no. at all. Mm -mm. <laughs> Yo, that looked like a rad sandwich of a time right there. Yeah, it's man. All kinds of elements in there. Matrix vibes, Inception vibes, the Fountain vibes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you got this like cool neo-noir, but also film noir, femme fatale quality infused mm. with this crazy dystopian almost young adult novel aesthetic to it wow there's a there's a lot going on in yeah. this trailer and then you got this personal journey of a dude living in the past Just memories trying to find his lost love always trying to find that lost flame you know what though that i i'll admit my mind trailed off for like five seconds and watching this trailer specifically about Hugh Jackman because it's so interesting to me how we know Hugh Jackman's Australian and every time he shows up in a movie he's American mm. and there's not even a thought of 
He's doing an American accent, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, every yeah. other actor, you become aware that they're doing an accent. Mm -hmm. But Hugh Jackman is just someone we we expect him to be Australian when we see him in an interview, and we expect him to be American when we see him in a movie. I know he's done movies where he's had, like, a southern accent or an Australian accent. I know he's, he's used his own accent before. Uh, I just think that's kind of a, a random, rare thing. Yeah. That I feel like any other actor... You know, Johnny Depp was doing British for a long time. We were like, cut it out. Angelina Jolie, same thing. Come cut on, man. Out. Come on. Uh, Hugh Jackman, you don't even notice. His American <laughs> accent's just so solid that, yeah, he's just an honorary American, and it would be foreign to us in a film environment yeah. that's not called Australia by Baz Luhrmann to hear him use that accent. <laughs> so you got Hugh Jackman, the really charming, flamboyant-esque personality, yeah. and then you have... Um, Hugh American action drama lead. <laughs> Hugh I'm Jackman. looking for my wife, Hugh Jackman. <laughs> yeah. Don't even question it. <laughs> yeah, that man. Is, that's a it's testament. It really dawned on me when watching The Prisoners, Hugh Jackman right here, you know? Mm -hmm. That that version of him. Uh, yeah, I know that has nothing really to do with the movie. That's just where my mind honestly went nah, for a split second. He's going to be reminiscing this. about the days when he could just use his natural accent and not have to worry about it. <laughs> no, never going to happen. Don't never let it happen. Ever. Stay. Never, never. One day you will be, you'll have the Mel Gibson trajectory where your accent will have left you and you will be American because you have done it for so long. But I do love the tone and atmosphere of this trailer quite a bit. Uh, I, 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 this is the co creator of Westworld and one of the main, uh, for sure, one of the main directors of it. And Tandy Noonan, who is in Westworld, I see, brought over here. I, I'm kind of concerned though, one of the elements of it is uh, I, I like a good heady sci-fi movie and I, and, I, and I don't know if it's gonna fully commit to both. You know what I, I, mean? I don't know if it'll be able to be like your Hollywood sci-fi blockbuster mm -hmm. or could it be like a full on heady sci-fi film? It looks like it wants to be both. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. And you know, 90% of the time, I can tell when a movie's like Annihilation or something, I, or, or Ad Astra. Yeah. Uh, like, I could tell this is a heady sci fi movie that they're trying to make it to like a Hollywood blockbuster trailer. Mm -hmm. And But I'm like, I know what it really is, though. And I'm like, I, but with this trailer, I'm not 100% sure what okay. it is, even though everything looks to, cool. But yeah. yeah. Are they trying to sell this blockbuster like it's headier than it actually is or something like that? Yeah, you know, I, I want, is it going to be one of those movies that's going to try to have its cake and eat it too? Um, but as it stands, you know, like I was, honestly, I was kind of expecting a bad trailer for some <laughs> not known reason. I was just like, it's probably going to be a crappy trailer. And I'm watching it, and I was into it. I was pretty into it. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, Rebecca Ferguson, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can you can see why he's going to spend the rest of his life in this apocalypse hunting her down because it's hard to beat Rebecca Ferguson, man. It's She's a perfect. <laughs> the word is a little over convoluted, though. It's good. Well, yeah, I mean, it, 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 I get what you mean with the whole like why I think because it's like okay, it's the future and all the the sea levels have risen and there was a war and and like that's one thing and then we also have this almost Ready Player One esque like everyone then got addicted to going into the past and yeah. reliving memories and I'm like, does everyone have one of these? water chambers that you're laying down in. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, and then you have like this abandoned city and you've got what looks like a very personal story about this one guy searching for this woman across, you know, hell and high water. But then you also have whatever chaos seems to be going on in, you know, the main society, which I couldn't tell if that's like a, a clip they showed from the prologue or something when Hugh Jackman's explaining to us how the world got this way, or if there's going to be some kind of like outside stake that's going to turn it into an action movie to offset the stuff where he's like, my wife. Oh, yeah, I mean, it seems like the <laughs> plot of the movie is that Rebecca Ferguson has a mysterious past mm -hmm. and uh, he, she's got a pre a presumed dead or something. And so, you know, he uses this machine to live in the memories with her because reality sucks at this point. So what he's going to have to do is journey across the subway waters or whatever that thing is called <laughs> into, uh, you know, Criminalville. Yeah, and have Criminopolis. To, <laughs> and then perhaps discover that uh, his his former lady is not as nice of a woman as he once thought yeah. she was. Um, it's the, Gone yeah, Girl that's where the Strange Days. A little bit, it's got a bit of that <laughs> femme fatale vibe, yeah. which uh, was, was a pleasant quality you don't often associate with 
And usually femme fatales like that weird Michael Heaton movie is coming. <laughs> you know, those oh, yeah. I saw, <laughs> that Martin I saw the Campbell film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, the, the, the one with the cool badass yeah, chick. The, who the one that's not Nikita. Yeah, or, or Lucy Luke Luke or movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually or the fan fatale we get. But this yeah. had like a, a bit of an erotic thriller uh, angle to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I don't know. It'd be nice if it if it really does infuse those flavors throughout. Because I feel like we don't get that many erotic thrillers anymore. No, we it's need them. Gone are the days of sexy Michael Douglas, and Hugh Jackman doesn't age, so he's perfect for these. I know, and he yells like a real protective warrior. That guy. <laughs> he, he does. <laughs> we all deserve to have Hugh Jackman yell like that on our behalf at least once in this <laughs> life, just to know the feeling. All right, guys. Well, what did you think of Reminiscent Sleep? <laughs> thoughts down below for this trailer <laughs> subscribe click that notification bell say hi to Hugh Jackman for us and um, yeah we'll catch you guys on the flippity flip peace